welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Karen and on my channel I help people learn English so if you'd like to receive some practical English tips and also some regular listening practice then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll know when I have a new video out for you we are at Hong Kong Zoo today I was actually going to take you around the zoo but unfortunately when I got here I found out that they have closed the mammal section which then effectively means that half the zoo is closed Boo -hoo. so I'll have to come back another time and give you a proper tour of the zoo so instead today I have decided to do an English lesson I would like to talk about dates in English and more specifically how to say dates in English now just remember we are talking about these types of dates and not these types of dates so let's have a bit of a wander around the zoo and talk about dates now I'm going to split this lesson into two videos because there's actually a lot to talk about when it comes to dates so in this video I'm going to talk about the basics of how we say dates and then in my next video I'm going to talk about dates from a long time ago as well as how we say dates in sentences okay so firstly while we have the flamingos in the background let's talk about how we can write dates there are two ways we can write dates firstly we can write day month year or we can write it in the month day year format now the British and the Australians tend to prefer to write dates in the day month year format while the Americans tend to prefer to write dates in the month day year format so you'll see both and both are okay and you just need to remember who is writing the date okay let's have a look at a few examples firstly in the day month year format and we'll talk about years later so let's just focus on the day month format first so the way that the British and the Australians prefer to say dates so firstly let's have a look at this date the 14th of April 14th of April now even though the word of isn't written we still actually say it so it's 14th of April sometimes we can also put the word the in front of the date so you will also hear people say the 14th of April so you'll hear 14th of April and also the 14th of April so both are okay and another example 28th of September or the 28th of September now also notice that we say the day in the ordinal form so we say the 14th of April and the 28th of September so not the cardinal number not 5 11 23 we say the 5th the 11th and the 23rd again even though it's not written that way we say it that way now as you may know Australians like to shorten words and so some of us think that the months January and February are a bit too long to say so you will also hear Australians sometimes say Jan and Feb so a few examples you will hear 4th of Jan or the 15th of Feb so the 4th of January 4th of Jan or the 15th of February 15th of Feb just to make your English language learning that little bit harder isn't that great now let's have a look at a few dates in the month day format firstly May 3rd or sometimes you'll also hear this as May the 3rd August 10th or sometimes August the 10th 
So again, even though the word the isn't written down, sometimes people still say it. Also, again, remember that the day is, is read as the ordinal number and not the cardinal number. So it's the third, the tenth, the fifteenth. Now, let's talk about years. But before we do, I suggest you get yourself a glass of water or a cup of tea or coffee or whatever your favourite drink is and then we can go and have a talk about years. Now let's talk about how to say years. Now firstly, let's talk about the years before the year 2000. With these years, we actually split the year into two numbers and then we say the two numbers together. So for example, we would say 1642, 1785, 1933 or 1997. Now, if the second number is a double zero, we say 100. So for example, we say 1600, 1700, 1800 and 1900. Now what about these years? If the second number is less than 10, we put an O in front of it. So we say 1603, 1704, 1807. Sometimes you'll hear 1707 or 1809. Both are okay. Now let's talk about the years from 2000 onwards. So firstly, the year 2000. I've said it a few times already in this video. But let me just say it again, it's 2000. Now the few years after the year 2000, we tend to say 2000 and then the number. So for example, 2001, 2002, 2003 and so on. And sometimes some people say 2001, 2002, so they don't even say the word and. So it's entirely up to you. So you'll hear both. Now, for the years from 2010 to 2019, you can either say the full number, so 2010, 2011, 2012, and so on, or you can use the rule that we were using before the year 2000, where you split the two numbers and then say them together. So you can say 2010, 2011, 2012, and so on. Now, this year is the year 2020, and you can still say the year 2020, but I think it's much more common to say 2020 because it's so much easier to say. And I suspect that going forward into the future, when we start going into the year 2021, 2022, and so on, we're going to keep this same rule that we were using before the year 2000, simply because it's so much easier to say 2021 than 2021. But it's the future. I'm not sure how that's going to unfold. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to end today's video with my cute little bunny friend here who I found as I was walking through the zoo today. If you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to get more videos like this one then please press the subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll know when I have a new video out for you. Keep an eye out for my next video where I will talk about a few more advanced things on dates 
and also how to use them correctly in English. So now I'm going to walk around the zoo and enjoy this lovely weather that we have today. So I will let you go and practice some more English and I shall see you next time.